You are not at your place. Where are you? I am in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. What the fuck are you doing in Missouri? <laughs> we. I am in Missouri visiting Dan's mom. Did you lose a Say bet, hi. Tara? Hi. Dan's mom and we're, well, we're visiting some of his friends this week as well, so... And I've been learning all sorts of things about places that are not the Northeast United States. Lady, get out of space. Stay, cats in space again. Um, and, oh, Miracle is here. She's in her little cat stroller because it's the only place she doesn't growl and hiss at the other animals. So we have to keep her in kitty jail. <laughs> kitty jail? Yeah. Oh, no. As long as she's in her little stroller, she doesn't growl and hiss at the cat and dogs. You take her out, she growls and hisses at everybody and is a big bully. She hates. Aww. Why you, so, gotta, why you gotta hate, Miracle? Really? So she stays in her little chariot and she's happy. Why you gotta hate? Isn't that right, Your Majesty? Why, yeah. why, why you gotta hate, Kitty? Because I'm old and grumpy. Hi, Internet. I wanna say I'm gonna. Adjust your volume level. It's a little high, so it's not on your end. It's on my end. I know my lighting is wonky because you know I'm not in my usual setup, so I'm extra pale today. Oh, oh, oh! What? Do we need to go back to our chariot? I'm out of my bubble. The dogs can see me. Oh God! Oh God! They can see me. Well, I'd have Grady on, but he's busy in the background murdering his his toy mouse. Oh, God, one of the dogs just moved. I gotta go. We've had a few epic hissing matches between her and Angel, the cat of the house. That's been good times. Well, Miracle is is Miracle, you know. She's, she's used to being a one-cat show. She is currently is not. No. So we keep her in her little stroller, and she doesn't have to be mean. Hello? Wow, you got real quiet. All the Hang on, let me see if I can fix that. Hello? My mic. Is that better? That's better. I don't know what happened there. You got, just got super quiet for a second. I don't know. That's weird. It is weird. Oh, live So, yes, I'm exploring internet. the country this week. I've learned that there are trains here that never end. They have trains that just, all the way to the horizon, there's just more train cars and more train cars and more train cars. And if you spend long enough on the highway, you're going to see a lot of billboards for Jesus. You're going to see a lot of billboards for guns. You're going to see a lot of billboards for billbo for businesses with really weird sexual innuendos for names. And also for strip clubs. Grady, I don't know if and, you can see and, him back and there. And a lot of porn shops. I don't know if you can see him back there, but he is determined, he's determined to wreck the green screen. He's re wreaking havoc on your green screen back there. Grady, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, cat? I'm breaking your shit. <sighs> Remember when he was afraid of you? Uh, he's still afraid. He just gets, he, for certain times, he forgets. He's like, oh, wait, <laughs> shit. I'm... Oh, God. He's having a great old time back there, though. He is. Oh. Well, it's pretty quiet around here right now. The dogs are sleeping. <coughs> Miracle's in her stroller. Angel's in a lap. So I'm being upstaged by a cat. This I you remember Bridget? Yeah. 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 I had to, I had to go for a much lower key cat so I would stop getting upstaged. <laughs> you had a, you went from like up you went from like yeah. about a 10 to a minus 5 on on Can you hear Angel meowing back there? No. Oh. Angel's very chatty. <laughs> <coughs> oh, there she goes. <coughs> Come here. Come here, baby. Like, don't touch me. Don't, don't pick me up. Oh, God. Angel doesn't like to be picked up, so I'll just bring my camera to her. Hello. Hey, look up. 
Now that ain't happening. Getting a cat to look at a camera is is mm -hmm. that just doesn't happen. <coughs> we have cats everywhere on this fucking show. But she squeaks bloody murder if you pick her up. So how do we get to the point where cats are just completely taking over our fucking show? Because eventually we'll be able to retire and just set up a couple of webcams on our cats and they can do all the work. Yeah. I, there was like 10 minutes that I had to just point at the camera at, 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 at Grady and everyone was just like, ah, and I'm like, you know what? I ain't, ain't going to do anything. That's all you got to do. I mean, that doesn't work as well with Miracle because she pretty much just sits around and grunts. Yeah. <laughs> That's about what she does these days, right? Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not just cats on this segment. No, no, we have much no, more. No. Oh god. We also do stupid stuff. Yeah, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide, interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And you know Crazy. <sighs> one of these first stories is We've told you people, when you're driving, your primary, your, your primary responsibility should be focusing on the driving. Yes. But no, no, no. I could go a lot of ways with this show. Oh, God, you know exactly. a lot of masturbating drivers. You know exactly. What you, well, guess what? You pegged it. You pegged it. We haven't even gotten there. You already pegged it. Martinez man rear ends van while masturbating. Martinez man rear ended a van Monday morning while masturbating in his car. David, That's the wrong gear shift. And as a bonus, David Marvin Johnson, a registered sense of sex offender with a history of public masturbation, struck the back of an Augusta man's 1992 Chevy Chevrolet Astro van. Um, the van was stopped at a red light, and a uh, witness told investigators sh she saw Johnson swerving and driving recklessly before the rear end collision. She said he Bonus almost points for his name being Johnson. <laughs> Johnson and his Johnson. Exactly. Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, uh, witness told investigators uh, he almost hit her vehicle a few times. The last time she looked at Mr. Johnson, he had his penis exposed out of his out of his pants and was physically masturbating, a sheriff's report said, as opposed to psychically masturbating, <laughs> telekinetically, mental maybe? masturbation. Was he writing a think piece for for Vox? I just wonder, like, I drive with one hand a lot, but that's really splitting your focus. <laughs> yeah. And the most I'll do with the other hand is, like, take a sip of a soda or something. Like, <laughs> that's, like, the advanced course of rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time, you know? It's driving your car and jacking it at the same time. That's, that's yeah, the advanced Yeah, those version. are two things that take a lot of concentration. I don't remember that on my road test. I gotta say. I gotta say. I, I th That was not... <laughs> Maybe it should be, though. Maybe it should be <laughs> on the road test, because it seems to be really common. <laughs> the revival Parallel park, and then, you know... Can you get yourself off while driving? And release your clutch. I mean, you already know, you know full well you should not be doing it when you're swerving around the road. You cannot... Well, clearly, this is an ongoing problem with this guy, right? It says he's a previous sex offender, so... Yeah, but, but park the car. Park the fucking car. Yeah. Doing it while you're driving... It, it, your your jolly time should not endanger the lives of others. No, what do you what do you think his insurance premiums are like? <laughs> Can you imagine poor Flo from Progressive getting that call? Hello, State Farm. Uh -huh. What do you find that under? Uh huh. Uh huh. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we're dropping you. Yeah, we fought. You filed that under. Nope. That's the one guy for whom the uh, the State Farm jingle just doesn't work. He sings that jingle and they're all like, nope. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State I'm Farm going. is there. Hi, how can we? Jesus Christ! <laughs> no! 
Oh, Jesus, no! Oh, for fuck's sake, Grady, what are you doing? I don't see him anymore. No, he's down here. He's, he's, he's viciously attacking one of his little toy mice. Oh, well, that toy mouse had it coming. <laughs> Scrambling and scratching around to kill this the little tiny... The two beagles tiny... have valiantly defended us today from the neighbors and other people walking their dogs. How do, how do they valiantly defend you? By barking really loudly. Every time. Yeah, Even there's, there's sliding doors with a beautiful view of the lake. It's a really great view of the lake and all the boats moored here on the lake. And people go outside for a walk or walk their dogs out there. And the dogs lose their little minds. <laughs> They're valiant defenders of the home. So it was Valentine's Day yesterday. It was. And uh, we have a sort of, I guess, would be a, a PSA. Oh, no. <laughs> You don't like that. I don't like it either. I don't like it either. Oh boy, let's let's get this on. Um, you can't put that there. A look at sex injury data. Oh, it's a compilation. This comes from Vice. It says, if you find yourself alone this Valentine's Day, we have a gift for you. Knowledge that it could always be worse. Like way, way worse. A 17-year-old man presented to the emergency room with abdominal pain and a foreign body in his anus. <gasps> yeah, you just read it. Everyone, uh -huh. brace yourself. He told doctors he had inserted a penis into a pencil into his. <laughs> well, no, he, he did. did that, too. that came later. He had inserted yeah. he had inserted a pencil into his rectum. A pencil. And then had anal sex with the pencil still in there. Why? Were you trying to see if he could push it far enough that he could write with your tongue? That's not going to work. Did you forget it was there? You know, what you have, have, have your fun, but have your fun safely. Pencils are not fun. No. Because why would you... Why Sharp the, things don't go there. You're, I mean, for God's sake, you're already having well, sex. Well, I guess I didn't say whether or not it was sharpened, but it doesn't matter. Things would, that cause splinters, sharp things. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're already having sex. You won. Yeah, you good won. for you. Yay. You're having sex. Write your novel another day. <laughs> Oh, it, there's another one. In another sex surgery case in the database, a 62-year-old man sustained a penile crushing injury after putting homemade PVC pipe rings and the ring off a horse halter around his <laughs> penis. D Dan's mama was not witnessed our show before is. <laughs> it's hysterical. It's hysterical. I don't know what a horse halter is. It's the, you know, the bit you put in the horse's mouth? Yeah. The, 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 the reins and all that stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah. He took the ring off of that and jammed it on there, too. They sell rings for that. They do. You shouldn't have to be making them yourself, you know? No. That's not a DIY. Not a DIY. And PVC pipe rings. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and this is another one. Be conscientious of your partner. We had a woman with a head injury and a fractured cervical spine who basically ended up going forward into a headboard. She was very dizzy at the time and was on top of this gentleman lurching forward into a headboard. Be conscious of your partners, ladies and gentlemen. Hard enough to give herself a head and neck injury. Be conscious of your partners. A 19-year-old woman sustained a sex-related dental injury after her sex swing fell out of the ceiling and she hit her mouth. <laughs> well, that's just poor craftsmanship right there. Yeah. You got to get in the load-bearing. You got to put your sex, sex swing in a load-bearing stud. Yeah. You can't just... You can't just nail it anywhere. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we have uh, we have more varied stuff. Um, I like that they have a handy chart for where. Oh, and it's interactive. You can click it. 
A handy well, where on the body the most common sex injuries are. Foreign body, which means the most common is foreign body, which means. But they have it broken out by body part, too. Oh, yeah. But what they mean is the most common, of course, is people shoving shit where it don't go. Yeah. We have things that are designed for that purpose and things which are not. If it falls into the category of things which are not, don't put it in your holes. Burns not specified. <laughs> That's that's a big one too. Dermatitis conjunctivitis. How do you get pink eye as a sexual injury? <laughs> Hygiene, Tara. Hygiene. Well, actually, didn't we a couple of years ago do the whole Japanese eye licking fetish that turned out to be a hoax? I yeah, think. Yeah, but. but but yeah, hygiene, Tara. It's it's a matter of hygiene. Ugh. Well, um, have you ever gone to Whole Foods? I know we're completely shifting gears here. But... <laughs> so have you ever gone to Whole Foods? getting fucked. Yeah, have you ever gone to Whole Foods? Unfortunately, yes. Well, Whole Foods, for some reason, for some amazing reason, has noticed that uh, their their sales have dropped off lately. Could it be... Probably the, the same reason it's nicknamed Whole Paycheck. Yeah, could it be the ridiculous expose they showed on uh, how the markups happened a while mm. back? Maybe. So Whole Foods has got or the fact that most people aren't actually gluten intolerant at all. And so they don't need yeah, gluten free bread. And yeah, gluten is only bad for you if you are allergic to gluten. So if if you're in their position, they're like, hey, we're losing sales. How can we rejuvenate interest in the brand? Well, they took what I like to call the Hillary Clinton tactic. Let's appeal to the youngins. Whole Foods may feature tattoo parlors. What? You're perusing the aisles of Whole Foods' new 365 chain. You may be able to pick up all the fresh fruit and other groceries you want and throw a tattoo in while you're there. According to Bloomberg, Whole Foods market CEO Walter Robb said the chain will try to appeal to younger, more budget-savvy shoppers with other businesses, including body care product sellers, and tattoo parlors inside the store. We don't. Whose idea was this to add the tattoo parlor to the grocery store? Yeah, because you know, whenever I go to the grocery store, except what I want to do, not only do I want to stay there as long as possible. Yeah, I want to let my milk spoil while I get a tattoo. Yeah, I want to. I want someone to take a needle and. In an environment filled with food, yeah, and which also means bugs and mice, so it's going to be totally sanitary. Yeah. Whole Foods is trying to attract is young. It, are they at least going to be like crunchy organic tattoo inks or something to Glute fit the brand? Is there such a thing as gluten-free tattoos? I don't know. You know? I'm still figuring out why you'd want to get a tattoo at the fucking supermarket. Yeah. That's the last place. Well, okay, maybe not the last place, but one of the last places. But it's down there. Yeah, it's 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 a little ways down. You know, I know Walmart. Does... God, think about your average Whole Foods cu customer. Like, these tattoos are going to be insufferable. Like, what tattoo artists are you going to find to work there? Because these people, your average stereotypical Whole Foods customer, are insufferable rich white people. Uh-huh. What are the tattoos these people are going to get kale forever? Have a picture of their old Humvee they had to sell when gas got too expensive with like yeah. an RIP under it, you know. I heart soy. <laughs> what the, how, this is supposed to attract younger customers? This is, uh, hmm. This is every time you see a business trying to appeal to the youngins and using like five year old slang in the commercial. Mm. Like, this is dope. On That's fleek a... and such. Yeah. Whip my nae nae or whatever. This is going to go so wrong. Yeah. I mean, here's, here's a hint young, young people who want a tattoo go to a tattoo. Artists. I don't even have yeah. any tattoos, but I still appreciate this work is art. And it's permanent. Yeah. It's not going anywhere once it's there. 
Also, by adding a... So it's what? not a decision you want to make in, you know, the non-dairy milk aisle. Also, by adding what is arguably a biohazard sort of situation, that's a whole new set of regulations Whole Foods yeah. will have to place itself under. Why would... What a fucking idiot. I guess maybe they're going for the, you know, some tattoos have the, you know, or near bars, so you get the drunks who want a tattoo. Maybe Whole Foods is going for the people that are delirious from juice cleanses and want a tattoo. They're going for the other end of the drunk spectrum, the delirious yeah. with, like, lack malnutrition. So... This next what this next headline, I, I think you know what if you could tell a story in a headline that this pretty much does it. Truck crashes into psychic's home business. <laughs> Do we have to say she should have seen that coming? I mean that's the obvious joke. Well, no, isn't here's it? the thing: she said a psychic in Orange County said she had a premonition something <laughs> well, was going go. to happen, and it did. When a truck plowed into her home business in Anaheim on Friday, around 4.30 p.m., a truck traveling on Beach Boulevard hit the back of the Toyota Camry, lost control before crashing into the psychic business operated by Rachel Williams. Williams said it was the third time a vehicle has crashed into her business. It's time to change your location. Or get a fence or something. I was screaming because my son was in the room operating the computer. All right, well, you're not a great psychic then, because you would have moved your kid. Yeah. She said she knew Third the accident. Time. Where is she? Is she, like, in the middle of an intersection? She said she knew the accident would happen. Yes, I knew it. I didn't know what time, but I had that spiritual feeling. Then why didn't you leave? <laughs> why were you home? Why were you staying there? I would have I gone. A spiritual feeling that the the aura of the truck contacted me. I would have been like, Timmy, let's go fucking see a movie. Let's go, yeah, let's go see a Star War. Let's go see a movie and then go get some McDonald's and let's not yeah. come back and, until much, much later. And not be home today when the truck hits our house again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I had a premonition that a truck was going to hit my house, that's the last place I would be. Can you hear the dog grunting in yeah. her sleep over here? I hear. I hear. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> that's that's <sighs> Minnie sleeping. She's the mini beagle. She's dreaming. Yeah. I don't know what she's dreaming about, but it's good. <laughs> you know, if three cars crash into your place of business, something tells me you're not a very good psychic. No. Because you should be using your powers to know when something a better location is going to go on the market yeah. uh, Ace track down patrick swayze or something you know it was one of those weeks where i had to debate which of these stories i would use there were that many oh dear there were that many and i was like do I go with this one, or do I go with the guy who stole shrimp, just jammed him into his pants, and used a gun? Or do I go with this one? And I decided... These products down the pants are a classic. I, just, I thought, yeah, let's go with this one, because the guy's rationale on this one is just... Is just undeniable. Well, it's, it's messed up, but it's really kind of undeniable on this one. Man urinates in Walmart as he puts trout in pants. At the same time? At the same time. Okay. Clarksville, Tennessee. A man faces charges after he urinated in a Walmart store while trying to put a package of trout in his trousers. Clarksville police recall the worker told an officer the suspect, David Wiley of Clarksville, was seen urinating on the sales floor near the alcohol while trying to put a package of trout in his pants. Was he trying to marinate the trout? That's not how you do it. No, That's... it's not. And he then attempted to leave the store without paying. The officer well, wrote, nobody wants that trout now. Now, here's the best part. 
The officer wrote that Wiley told him he did indeed urinate in the floor, but, quote, was not concerned because it was a misdemeanor. Oh. He said he had been consuming alcohol. He repeatedly stated the officer he was not concerned about being cited for either offense because they were misdemeanors. <laughs> well, at least he's got his priorities in order. You know, that, as much as you might like to say, that's not this how... This is nothing compared to the three people I killed this week. <laughs> Oh, this shit's nothing. This is a I misdemeanor. peed on them, too. <laughs> this, just because it's a misdemeanor does not mean your ass will not go to jail. Yeah. They because will... in some places, that's considered, that gets you on a sex offender registry. Because <laughs> you can't pee in public without exposing yourself. People are already Googling to see if, if peeing on trout in your pants is a fetish. Is that considered swimming upstream? Was he trying to get them to swim up the stream? <laughs> Did anybody ask him that? <laughs> okay, Kitty, we got to put you to work. He's mad at me. Be cute at him. <laughs> What? I'm mad at you now, too. I was sleeping. She's never really cute so much as dazed. Yeah, well, I just woke her up. No, okay. Felonies. I, re I just want to know why he was stealing trout and peeing at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I mean get, good, good job multitasking, but... He seemed to be very, very, you know, nonchalant about the whole affair. He's like, oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'll pay the fine. I'll be out. It's fine. It just because it's a misdemeanor does not mean it's not considered a crime. Yeah. You the, the felony one. The felony is for the really bad crimes, and that's one that gets you taken off the uh, the so, voting fuck rolls. You, because and, somebody has to clean that up. <laughs> yes, that too. No, it's just a misdemeanor. Like people forget that somebody has to work there and. Like, this is the reason that retail outlets have biohazard kits, because yeah. some kid is going to vomit on your floor, or some idiot's going to pee on your floor, or someone's going to drop their kid's dirty diaper on the floor. And somebody who makes not nearly enough money is going to have to clean that up. Yep. And all so you couldn't, so you didn't have to walk your dumbass 10 feet to the bathroom. Also, you can take $130 of trout. Hundred is that how much? A hundred and thirty dollars worth of trout in his. Pants. How much trout is that? That's a lot. I would say that's a lot of trout. Because trout isn't especially rare. No. Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Twenty How do you get twenty pounds of trout down your pants? He had twenty pounds. I mean, no wonder he had to empty his bladder. I guess. <laughs> 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 yeah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Twenty. That's hundred and thirty dollars. Who are you feeding? Nobody. Nobody. No one's gonna want to eat the trout you peed oh. on. <laughs> Just wasting trout. Finally, this week we have one from China. This is pretty much the definition of go big or go home. Actually, you kind of went big and went home. Um, so you see all these heist movies where people have these intricately detailed plans where they'll bypass the security and they're all on a silent mm -hmm. timer and then this other guy will distract the teller. and you know, Somebody's got to do gymnastics through the labor lasers. Yeah, um, this guy kind of skipped those steps. Thief tries to rule jewelry store by ramming it with a bulldozer. I mean, it cuts out all the middlemen. Reports of an attempt by a man in Pingyang City uh, to rob a jewelry store to earn some attention, not for the crime itself, but for the unusual method of execution. Potential highs of the, of the century involved some guy taking a bulldozer, crashing it into the jewelry shop, and robbing the place clean. But the plan lacks in, lacks in subtlety, it certainly makes up for in blunt force. 
Somehow, county police were able to respond to the car immediately and capture the suspect moments after he pulled off the heist. We aren't sure if the bulldozer was his getaway vehicle as well. Those don't go very fast, so you'd like no. to hope not. All right, well, I, mean, I, I got respect for just the balls of that. <laughs> it's like, I could learn to pick locks and cut glass and... I could do all that Ocean's Eleven bullshit, or, or I could just knock the fucking door down. Or I could just... Fucking bulldozer. <laughs> and to be fair, he did manage to rob the place. He just yeah. got caught. He just immediately got caught. Because that does lack in subtlety. It's it's not exactly an unworkable plan, uh, per se. You gotta have a really good getaway plan, though. You gotta be fast, and you gotta have a good getaway plan. And you can't preferably not using the, the same entrance you busted in. Yeah, and don't don't get away with the bulldozer. You're not gonna get away with the bulldozer. No. I mean it It's like trying to get away on a golf cart. It's just it's not gonna work out. Yeah, it's it, <laughs> You know this guy was probably sitting around going, Well, why can't I do that? Well, it, it wouldn't work. No one's ever tried it. Well by God, I'll give it a shot. He's a pioneer. And where did he get the bulldozer? <laughs> I sincerely doubt it was his bulldozer. You don't just get those. I mean, was it stolen? Did he work in that? This is kind of incomplete reporting. Surprisingly, they do not secure those things at construction sites as well as you would expect them to, because I'm being serious here. The thinking is. Who would steal a bulldozer? Well, didn't we didn't we cover a guy who got in a car chase with the cops on a tractor? Yep. That was also stolen? Yep. People will steal fucking anything. And yet the the thinking is it's a bulldozer. Who's gonna want to steal that? Someone who wants to rob a jewelry store. That guy. Or someone who's been doing math because Lord knows we've learned meth makes you do stupid shit. Snake Stealth says, classic smash and grab. Well, not exactly. Kind of classic smash and grab on a lot of steroids. <laughs> uh, smash and grab with a serious inferiority complex. A fucking bulldozer. I mean, it's got style. Imagine working in the shop that day. Boss? <laughs> Hey, boss, boss, oh, boss, we got a, <laughs> we got a problem out here. <laughs> Cause they don't go very fast either. So no. he's very, you're like that guy in Austin Powers. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to come in here, is he? I think Hi, he might. Hi, you, you're, you make the tiniest mouth. Can I pick you up without you yelping bloody murder? No. Oh God. Oh, look, we're kind of calm. We're not going to look at the camera, though. Nope. Oh, there we go. Hello, little cat. This is Angel. Hello, Angel. She's been trying to be friends with Miracle and getting hissed at a lot. Aw. Miracle's being a butt. Miracle's kind of being a bully. Aww. So I I'm sorry. Did I pick you up? That was horrible of me. I'll just scratch your head. Okay. I guess the first thing we learned this week is... Someone has always got to be the first one to try something that doesn't always mean it's a great idea. <laughs> but you never know if it's not going to work until you try it. Somebody has to be the first one to try Someone it. Someone has to be the first to try to rob a jewelry store with a bulldozer. With a bulldozer. We've learned that <sighs> someone has to clean up your shit. Literally. If you're don't do not be that motherfucker. It's a misdemeanor. It don't fucking matter. You asshole. You raving gigantic asshole. Also, and if you can steal food, don't ruin it that way. Yeah, don't pee on the food. What's the stealing? point of stealing one hundred thirty dollars worth of food if you're just gonna turn it into a biohazard anyway? Oh, your mic goofed again. Really? Now it's fine again. Move it. Now it's fine. I might have a loose thingy. Maybe. We've learned that uh, if your psychic's business gets crashed into three times, 
<laughs> you should take that as a sign from your spirit guide. Yeah, they may not be a very good psychic. But your spirit guide is guiding you away. Yeah. From that location. We've learned just because you're trying to appeal to the youth does not mean you've got to do all the kind of... There's a time and place. There's like context. Maybe a more logical thing would have been healthy cooking classes at the Whole Foods. Yoga. A yoga studio attached to the Whole Foods would have made more sense. There's a long list of things that make more sense than Whole Foods and tattoos. Uh, uh, yeah, Whole Foods does not strike me as the place you go to for edgy. And, and you know, it's a fucking grocery store. It's an expensive grocery store, but it's a fucking but grocery store. But it's a grocery store. store. You know what happens when I go to the grocery store? I have a list. I get exactly what's on the list. I get the fuck out as quickly as possible because I fucking hate the grocery store. Every time Dan goes to the grocery store, he gets in a fight with somebody. So maybe there is a certain punk rock element that we're missing out on. Why does he Dan... gets in epic fights at the grocery store? Why do you do that? He the had some lady. Yeah, he had some lady call him a racist because she wouldn't let him cut her in line. He has he uh, he's had people yell at him about his Mets T-shirt. Like he just always gets in fights at the grocery store. So. Maybe tattoo parlors wouldn't be too far off. Maybe they're maybe they need a mosh pit and a punk club. We've learned right next to the deli. We've learned there are things that are designed to go in your holes and things that are not designed <laughs> to go in your holes. Pencils are not. Not. Be nice to your holes. And here's the thing with pencils. I don't know if you have one of these. I have a blue dot in the pad of this finger from mm -hmm. when I stabbed myself in the finger with a pencil. I do not. Yep. It, those things never go away. I did that when I was like 12. I have a blue dot in my knee from high school and some idiot kid stabbed me in the knee with his pencil. Never goes away. Why did they, well, wait, 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 why did you get stabbed with a pencil? It was a kid in front of me and he was being a jerk and he swung his pencil under the desk and stabbed me in the knee. Yeah. Jesus. And the blue dot is still there, and the blue dot is still here. So you forever have a Jackson Pollock inside your rectum, thanks to that pencil. Be kind you to just your had holes. had to shove up your ass. You're going to have your holes for your entire life, and trust me. They're the only holes you're going to get. Yeah, well, unless you make new ones, and those aren't going to be very fun ones. No, those aren't going to be ones you want to play with. And finally, we've learned... When you're driving, 10 and 2, not, not 10 and 6, okay? 